measures can betimes change the tide of battle. Like this stupid skin. <laughs> I love it, bro. I showed you that shit too, bro. I know I knew that you like that shit. It's funny as fuck. Like Huey has the same thing with his uh forced uh, yeah. elf skin. Like So that man's dumb as shit for never fucking I'm doing the back off thing. One well, no, not even just that, just the fact that he never uh he never put his teleporter down beforehand. Like usually, if you're gonna fight with our, uh, with Heim, first you would want to like uh, get your teleporter down before you do anything, just in case you can have to escape. Where's your pots, buddy? You popping that mana? There you go, buddy. I'm trying to fucking not get. No, no, I was just letting you know. You're good. I'm trying to help you out. You bitch. Uh, you're playing a dangerous game there, buddy. Uh, yeah. That's the King Arthur ways. You might want to get that blue in the uh, back there, though, too. Wait. Damn. Right oh, she can ult you. We can cook here in a minute. Or is she gonna die, bro? Alright, baby. My bigger way. <laughs> well, <laughs> that bitch got fucked. <laughs> <bad. laughs> <laughs> Wasted hey, all. Not even gas station food. I think stone a guy against a team first will be better. I ain't going Oh, yeah, you. it's fucking. Oh, yeah. Look at it. Fucking. Got two, three, four, I got three knockups. That blue buff in the back you can get still too, by the way. Just to give you a heads up. Oh, I thought that would have oh. helped me. Oh. I like how you just stood still. I stood still. It throws people off. It throws people off. It's like you're actually reacting to it. Like you're staying still and you're like, okay, move this way. Okay, move this way. <laughs> the Scylla just looked at me like, what the fuck? <laughs> Did he just break my ankles? <laughs> Literally, if you try, try that sometimes, if you're running away from someone, just go. Like it just throws them off and they'll like throw the auto in front of you. Like you saw me do that when I was playing Thor when they uh, like when yeah. you try to land the stun shit. I'm just I just dodge it like that. It throws people out, man. Because you know they're used to like you trying to move out the way and dodge, but if you just yeah. like back up sometimes, if you back up yeah. instead of going forward, it just like I dodged all that silly shit. I was gonna ult her. Most of the time, I wouldn't even do that. I would just run towards them. That throws them for a loop too. Like sometimes you'd be running away and they think that you're just gonna fucking you just shut a time up. There you go. Do you ever level the two, for King Arthur? No, I level the three. Usually, mostly because you want to dance in between them. The, the two only sets up your one to hit harder. Remember I told yeah. you how his uh, two combos on his yeah. one? Yeah, you want to slow it and knock him up into it, really. Like, it's only really used to set up your, like, your one. Like, you can do it, but you'd only ever do that in, like, a 1v1 scenario. You wouldn't want to do that in, like, team fights. Because, like, if you try and stand still to set up for your one nine times out of ten, you're just gonna get your ass beat or CC'd. So like standing still is something you don't really want to do with Arthur. You just want to keep running with your three and your one and shit. Your left tower is under attack. At least ideally, so. Especially since blue stone really hurts a lot with three, but I mean, even without it, it's still kind of worth it. They might get this. Oh, no, I'm dead. 
No, dude, I should have gotten that. Fuck. Dude, I should have gotten that. It would have lived. It would have healed me. Fuck. I tried to, like, walk and do it. Maui, why'd you miss your ult? You could have saved me. Fuck. I got disintegrated, bro. I thought I was just gonna go in and then just like spin around them and run the tower, but they just. Well, that's kind of what you have to do, but they, if they predicted you, that's why you gotta like. You gotta get like the best King Arthurs are able to use their three and not get hit in a, in a yeah. danceful way, you know? Like that, I've learned to do that over years. Yeah, I'm still not the best at it. I'm good at it. You, you've seen me and how I'm able to dance in between people. A lot of times to confuse people is what you would do. You use your three and you dash into them, like towards their left or their right, yeah. towards into them. So like, like the blue one. Because like people, yeah, like or the blue or their th or the, the either or it doesn't matter. Like you 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 uh you uh circle around them sometimes. Like depending on the, who the god is, really depends on how you use your three. So for example, like if it's like a Heimdall, right? You would want to use like your orange three, dive into him because you're not going to be using this orange yeah, three that's all what day. I yeah, and then try and dance around behind him with the three by circling around Like, him. I won't because use if he has the bad sensitivity, three, Yeah. if I know I can, I, if they have interrupts for it. Yeah, like, if he has bad sensitivity and you try to dance around with the three, like, he's not going to hit any autos, you know? Now, for someone like Scylla, you kind of want to use your three to bait out her abilities rather yeah, than dance around her, her because... Yeah, or her too, yeah. Don't want to be exactly on top of her. Just like, use your three to hit her with the edges of the three rather than being right on top of her with it. Because if you try three on top of her, she's just going to throw a two on herself. Yeah. Like, forget the cripple at that point, you know? Like, it all depends on who you fight and how you use your abilities. That's the beauty of King Arthur. Like, if you could spam his shit, but anybody with like half a brain cell will know how to deal with you like that. That's why you got to learn how to use your abilities around certain gods. And that's why, uh, how you use your ability is completely dependent on who you're facing. You know, like sometimes you'll uh, you'll never try to use your your uppercut against someone like a Nufus, you know, because he's knock up at me. There's no point to try and land an uppercut combo. So what you'll do with him is you'll try and poke him out with your three and one. You know, enough to build an ult charge to finish him that way. You know. And also, for people who have escapes, like your Shatter Clap works on Heimdall, by the way, and Scylla. Yeah. And you should always be looking to hit that on them before you do anything, even before you do the slow. So, like, ideally, how you want to initiate it is you want to hit the Shatter Clap, and that'll get you your blue up. Hit the blue, then uppercut him, and then one the Scylla. And then immediately chase with your three and your ult if you, ha if you can. Depending on the situation, obviously. But, like, someone like Anubis, right? Instead of doing that, because you're not going to get the uppercut properly on him because he's immune to his one, what you would do is you would bait out his one with your three, right? So you start dashing around with his three, and the moment he starts using his one, you immediately ult him with your blue and your ult. That way you can stun him out of his one, then slow him, uppercut him, and then hit him with the one if you can if you haven't uh, gotten his uh, sash out, you know? At that point, this, he'll either be forced... probably not going to be able to do all this in like a second. Well, I'm just giving you, like, I'm just telling you, like, all the different comp- You see, you see, there you go. That cripple just killed him. That's how you do it. You use your abilities in the given situation based on circumstance. That's what makes a good King Arthur player. You don't just spam the shit. You think about how to use your abilities yeah. in the correct Like, order. I tried to hold the cripple for the Scylla. I tried or to the hold, fucking, like, or the, the Hive. The, if the Hive yeah. starts using his TP, you can't cripple you, him out of it. You can? For, like, one second. Yeah, it's that a cripple. cripple. Oh. But Hard like, CC like works it, yeah. Well, I think it works because it's like more like a teleport, like Yana Squad teleport. I'm pretty sure it fucking works, doesn't it, uh, uh, Eric? I could be wrong, right? Can you slow him? Hit him with that, that, hit him with that, yeah, yeah, there you go. Well, yeah, so that way he doesn't... Is Cripple considered a hard CC? Like, in the game? I think it is. I think it is. Because I don't think his, like, I don't any... think his teleport... I know your knockup definitely does interrupt it, though. Yeah, I know. The, I know no, your knockup does. But, but it's I think a, it's, a, it's an in place knight. It's an in place knight. Give them mana, by the way. Yeah, but it yeah, does, but it it does it stop does, it. It does stop it for a second. He's hitting it. Yeah. It will delay it. So like you pull him out, he's in yeah, it will delay it. That's why I think the 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 shatter clap might do it. Yeah, you always want to try to slow her because if she 
just unfortunate I got no mana. I, I can't really finish that. Yeah. If you had your one there, it would have been different. Just back out. Just reset, bro. I ain't no, dude, you're not doing anything. If she dies, she dies. It's not her fault. Like, you ain't got no mana. You shouldn't even be fighting that. Dude, she's Get just you, still, like... She's just stealing. Should I get... Get you shield? Onis. Get you Onis. Get Onis. Get Onis. You need some mana. Or, get get Onis. Trust Glad me. You'll get Preedwin. Get Onis. You'll get Preedwin after. But I kinda want AR if you get Glad Shield next. Get Glad Shield next. That way you can get Preedwin. Preedwin on Arthur is really nasty. Especially right now. But the mitigations on Arthur, because of his passive, the more your meter stacks, the more uh, mitigations you get. Remember? Damn. I low-key body blocked him trying to, like, help him. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. didn't mean to do that. Yeah. That was my fault. But if you're gonna go prophetic on Arthur, like, go go Onis with it. That way you can get Glad Shield and then, uh, Freed one. That way you have your 40% cooldown because of prophetic. But, like, mitigations on Arthur is pretty nasty, too. Like... And don't be afraid to blue stance ult his, uh, his 3, too. It will knock him out of his shit temporarily, too, for high when it's TP. I don't even know what there's a Anubis. You just 3 Anubis whenever he does that shit, too, by the way. So that's how you do it. There you go. You chase with your three if you can. Dance around her. Remember to hit the edges of your uh, thing. Otherwise, she's going to hit her thing anyways. She may combo you here. Oh, she Aegis. Oh, she Aegis. That was a good Aegis. Ironically, you still could have killed her if you blew her and still went into that, actually. But she's out now, I think. I probably would have died. Nah, the tanks were there. The tanks wouldn't have killed you for that. You kill that Heim. Oh, you should turn on the Heim with that. Nice job. He's up. I'll piece up. Listen, what not? Hey, what happened now? I think he just had to leave. Ah, okay. I mean, it still worked out. We still got him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna try to give you two Arthur tips from my experience. I love him to pieces. I literally try like learning everything I can about this dude. I think she's dead. Uh, you can cut her off probably. She dashed. I heard it. There you go. I can't ever like press triangle the time. <laughs> I mean, it takes skill to land the blue ult, I will tell you that much. It does take practice. I've only gotten good at it because I've, I've learned how to play. I've played him so fucking much. Like, even more than you have. Like, oh God. I will say that, uh, you probably already know this, I'm just saying that right, just in case you don't. But the best way to land your super ult is to literally get your knock up on your two. It literally just guarantees you your, uh, your super ult. So... Yeah, that's what I try and do. Or at least the slow. Yeah. Yeah. Just, you know. I don't know why he's trying to fight you. Like, he sees you right there when he came to lane. Like, I don't, I don't know why he's trying to fight that. Oh, like, I'm glad okay, I Okay, she should kill Oh, well, oh, well, well, well. Never mind, she died. Oh, he got him for it. Remember, watch that too. She's gonna have... Uh, she may still have ult. I'd be careful. I just... Oh, they're... Oh, God, that bitch. <laughs> yeah, get that God. glad shield, then you can get your Preed one. Because Preed will get your last of the cooldown that you need. Should I even try getting the Rune Forge? You could if you want. He has, like, like, like several different CCs. His Shadow Clap Cats is a hard CC, which should proc it. And his two flows. should proc Rune. His, yeah, his two proc slow. He has a knock-up. He has a knock-up in his two as well. A knock-up and a stun in his ult. So, I mean, but you, like, Runeforge doesn't really work on Arthur if you use his Banish ult, though. Because, like, you don't get the benefit of the, uh, burning sigil on the ground. Or the, uh, I don't think you get the passive either. I could be wrong. But I think they have to be inside the sigil for it to work right now. Yeah, see how he's having to struggle to hit you with autos and shit when you dance around like that? Oh. 
Oh, that hits on my dude. laugh. I would have laughed. I would have laughed. You just go into that chaser. I hit that. Yeah, that, yeah, there you go. See, that's how you do it. Perfect. Beautiful. And then you just dash around him with your three. So you be out of sash and shit. Oh, he's gonna probably get some life still because of that, but. And then you ult it with the one. Yep, there you go. Perfect. That's beautiful. Fucking beautiful. Fucking beautiful. Hey, man, I love And there you go. You see, you're juking it. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm getting at, though, right? You see, you're doing it perfectly. There you go, bro. Fucking beautiful, bro. You made me fucking hard looking at that. Oh, he's gonna look to dash out, probably. But it's probably too late. Heim saved him, I think. Beautiful, bro. Beautiful. I right, shell your Maui. Gotta get that off. Dance around him. There you go. Oh yeah, just back off. You got plenty out of that. There ain't no point. That's so uh, fun. Make, make it back up. Out. Make it back up. Now. I was gonna try and kill the Silva. No, he's dead. Just oh, wait. Don't, don't even bother you. He's dead. Yeah, he's dead. Wait, what the fuck? Did he tell- did he blink? Did- did that dude fucking I blink? I think he blinked. And he died for it! <laughs> Wait, can I see his build? I wanna actually see if actually blink. She has no ult, you get lazy back right there as long as you watch out for her wand, she'll be alright. Oh, by the way, fun fact, I don't know if you listen to this or not either, but your blue one goes through walls. You can't. See? Where is everyone else? <laughs> They're right. trying to help you get the Maui off you to finish her off. The Maui's not gonna kill me, bro. Well, no, but he's gonna keep you from getting the Scylla. That's the problem. Thank you. It's an army land. I get your Preed ones. No. Yeah, I love playing yeah, it, bro. That, you be having those moments yeah. where you're like, you're, you feel like uh, you're the main character. <laughs> yeah, it's Which fucking great. Get the get the get the blue one. Nah. That'll work better for you. You have a shit ton of protection, yeah. and it'll give you a bigger shield, so more sustain. But yeah, no, that, that, that fucking all moments when you hit all the buttons right with Arthur, bro. Yeah. You're just in the moment. It's great, bro. They're like, damn, this guy's still that. alive. Fuck. Yeah, it's fucking yeah. It's like, dude, this. That's fan... how I felt when Soul Eater was really good. For them, because it was like a glimpse of like what it used to be. With the well, the, like my only issue with like Soli ever was like even before the nerfs and shit to it was mostly just the fact that like it it, it required you to not get CC locked, you know? Because in order to get the heal, you have to like you have to like you know. Yeah, there's no point for y'all being here. Their entire team's coming over, aside from Silla, obviously, but... Well, Haim's not there. You can probably still fight it. Just be careful. Anubis might be lurking. I see into men's very souls. Oh, damn. Discordian yeah. just ruined him. Jesus Christ. Yeah, like, I've always liked the, uh, King Arthur, because if you actually, like, pay attention to his building shit, uh, you actually They're get nice. to learn He's that got a you... lot. He's got a lot of Oh, stuff. he does! Like, it, there's there's also the fact that, like, every one of his abilities interact with every god in a different particular way. So, like, knowing how to intricately use your abilities against every team enemy kind of a uh, combination is, like, like I said earlier, is what defines a good Arthur. Like... And I think people just really misunderstand that, you know? They're like, oh, just spam abilities. It's like... It's yeah, Arthur. that's why I hate You're it. When, that's why I hate it, yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, you just think, that's what I'm saying, like, I just hate it when people think, oh, you just spam abilities, uh. Like, it's just a, 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 like, an ignorant way to look at it. So look at that, you got him out of his one with that, too. Like, it's fucking dirty. Yeah, I don't like the Scylla just throwing shit at me the whole time. Oh my god. Yeah, I didn't get it off. Might be able to catch her. 
That doesn't go through walls, unfortunately. That does. I, I, damn it. I thought, I thought the blue went through walls. No, nah, the stun doesn't. The stun doesn't. The one does. The stun doesn't. I think the one is the only thing that goes through walls in your kit. Unfortunately. No, oh, God. Oh, we need people killing these fucking tanks. Please. Right, no one can deal damage to the tanks on our team, bro. Well, I mean, to be fair, the only one that could do that is either Lance or, or Izanami. And Iza's in left lane trying to split push and one v one the uh, whatchamacallit. And you just dance around him so that way he doesn't get his ult properly. There you go, yeah. You gotta dance around these people, bro. That's how you gotta think of him playing Arthur. I like how you just fucking took her into that. I did. Bro, he's really trying his absolute damnedest to fucking save this man. Oh no! Oh man. Oh man, they have no Phoenix, you can actually back. Uh, uh. You can ult him to get him off your team if you can get it off. There you go. That's dumb, bro. <laughs> That's why yeah. I like playing King Arthur when it works out. Yeah, dude, it's fucking disgusting. Look at it. Up top, up top, everything. <laughs> yeah, I told you the build. I told you. I'm, I'm going to give you a good solo That's lane dumb, build, bro. bro. Like, I, like I, I know how to play solo, but I'll teach you the way. Like, I'll show you the way, my brother. Right. It's fucking dumb, bro. I'll show you the warrior way, bro. I will, I will show you the way to bully. <laughs> I will say, I, you show me, you show me the way to support. I show you the way to bully. <laughs> like, the main issue is, you know, I know all the items to kind of build, but like, I just yeah. don't know really the order because I, I feel like Glad Shield is like you want to get that as soon as you can because it's so impactful. Well, it used to not be like game. that. True, and now it is, yeah. But you need sustain on Arthur, which is why is the go Gaia on him first. You need the sustain or some sort of it. Like right now, I personally think Soul Eater is just complete and utter garbage. 